How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys don't know already, my name is Trigger. How's everyone doing? What's going on? Hopefully you guys watched the last video, but the past two videos actually, we've been doing full intake system for the Nissan 370Z VHR VQ 3.7 liter V6 motor. You guys updated, I'll throw some tags right here to check it out. If you like, first we did the 3 inch full true intakes, long tube intake system. Shout out to NFA. Jason, thanks for making that bro, killed it. And then second thing we did was we had this intake manifold and then the cards right here for the video. But I went ahead and ported this and as you guys saw in the little edit, it actually came out really well. These ports were super smooth. The bird did the job with taking the extra plastic out. Shout out to Justin and Josh. Thanks for the birds from Mac Tools. But yeah, I took the all like the excessive plastics out of like in all the inner slopes right here. And then we use sandpaper, different grit numbers. But first we used like a lower number to take out all the extra plastic. Then we went to a little bit of a higher number. I believe it was 80 first and then 220 and then it was 440 or like 400. I don't remember. I might be wrong. But it was in the clip and we soothed it out the tips for the throttle bodies where they mount we used that flappy disc to in order to smoothen out the inside but everything came out good this thing came out nice now you guys are gonna ask what is today's video about well if you haven't seen already by thumbnail of this video we got something very special today wow wow is a very nice these are actually the eps three inch true three inch throttle bodies you guys haven't seen Woo! these are huge guys these are sick all right so like what's in this kit what is this kit well if you guys don't know on the nissan 370z that is the intake manifold which we poured it over there but over here we have the throttle body which is connected right here to the intake manifold and then there's one as well right here. These throttle bodies that are on the car, I believe are like 2.25 or like, I don't know. They're very small though. They're like the same size as whatever this K&N is. It's like small puny thing. Anyways, what happens is since the inlet for this intake manifold, which is right here, isn't three inches. It's exactly... So it's exactly 67.3 or 67.2. So that's not that bad, you know, for considering this being 62. So that's almost three inches because I believe 70 millimeters, three inches. But these guys, let's measure these. Yeah, so see, these guys are 76.6. So these throttle bodies are much, much bigger, which I would hope they would be, you know, because they were pretty expensive, guys. Sorry, but I wanted to show you guys the like size difference. When I do take off the throttle bodies off the car, I'm going to measure those and I'll throw it in the future video in the description of comparing the differences. But I'm very excited. I haven't really seen too many Zs or Gs with these. I imagine they're going to give me some sort of beneficial gain, but who knows? I guess we're going to gonna find out when we tune the car and when we talk to my tuner but guys obviously if you haven't or can't tell or haven't watched any other other videos i don't really slack when it comes to buying parts i always try to keep saving you know for the best of the best because just look at these these are so nice these are two big three inch throttle bodies so now i don't even need to get new couplers my intake systems are going to exactly fit these throttle bodies so these come with these extra like plates and 
what these are see eps is a company that makes them but <clears throat> technically what this does is i'm gonna look at the instruction manual but this bolts up to this and then the throttle bodies bolt up to this item right here which is technically like a spacer it comes with two of it it also comes with the pigtail so this is like a plug style throttle body i forget what the name was yeah this is the pig style just remember guys when you do do this install from my understanding when you unplug your throttle bodies you're gonna have to re-teach your car all the calibrations for it i'm gonna do some research so when i do that install i can make sure to give you guys correct accurate information on how to do that but that is something i know but since i have a new manifold and i ported it and i'm going to be using this i'm going to be bolting these up to this so when i'm ready to throw this in the car with everything else we will be good to go my whole intake system is done so happy that was a goal and we're gonna move next to the other stuff you will see soon in the next couple of the videos and then it's gonna be installed for the diff and tune time baby anyways guys now let's take these out of the box lay them out and then throw them onto this manifold <laughs> The instruction manual I'll put in the description, but pretty much what you're gonna do is wanna take one of these spacers and you're gonna use the hardware that this kit comes with and you're gonna go ahead and mount these up to this and you're gonna do it to the other side as well. So you're gonna wanna not fully tighten it down. You're gonna wanna leave it a little bit of a space. So when you go ahead and put the throttle bodies on, you're gonna be able to move it around and make sure it's correct. But I guess after you throw the throttle body on, you use the regular hardware from the one that's on the car for the throttle body. And you're gonna connect all the coolant lines so you're gonna have to tighten these and i believe it says you're gonna have to torque 75 inch pounds anyways i'm not gonna make them crazy tight i'm just gonna hand tight it just because before i throw them on i'm gonna make them tight but they're not gonna go on the car right now just because we have a couple of stuff left but anyways let's throw it all together <laughs> Well, as you guys just saw, this is the 370Z intake manifold paired up with the EPS big bore throttle body. These guys are big. I put this tape and napkin over it just because it's going to be sitting and I don't want really dirt and stuff be getting in it. But it's mocked up using zip ties right now. Hey, trigger spec. But when I get the hardware off the car, I'll be able to throw it in. But these are pretty much, this is how you install it. And don't forget, you're going to have to torque them down. But installation video will be coming up soon. Anyways, guys, that pretty much concludes this video we got this big hunk of power making this thing is actually really heavy now with these throttle bodies but i'm very excited to see how these throttle bodies are actually going to perform and how this ported manifold is going to perform but these are super heavy duty i really like how big these are and it's going to look cool and it's going to hopefully give us some nice power you know because that's what we're looking for and that's what i was looking for big bore throttle bodies paired with true three inch custom intake ported manifold some of the stuff coming right up in these next couple of weeks are hopefully gonna help me make some great power out of this you know for na and then obviously if you guys haven't heard me talk about it before i do want to boost this car and it is in the works but some shh secret stuff but you guys soon i promise soon i'll be able to share everything with you guys and i just i can't tell you guys how excited i am anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video please guys if you liked it if you had any questions about these throttle bodies or if i answered something you guys had or just in general you wanted to see it give this video a I'm thumbs nice. up 
Please, if you liked it. And if you didn't, dislike it, no problem. But please, please, comment why. Why you disliked my video. What I could do differently next time. I would love to see why. And yeah, besides that, thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, go follow me on my social media. I also link all my social media in every video in the description. So please go give me a follow. I do a lot of sneak peeks on my social media stuff when I'm installing it behind the scenes before it gets dropped on YouTube. So that's a benefit from it. Also follow me on Snapchat or anything else. And if you don't want to, no problem. Yeah, that's it. So now we're done with the whole intake and the whole breathing process of our car or my car. But yeah, be ready. Next week's video is going to be another good one. Something very simple, very easy, but it's going to be pretty good. And I am going to be going on vacation guys for a couple of days so i might not be able to make a video i do have a video already for you guys for next week that i will upload but stay posted guys because this car is slowly starting to get into the crazy phase where we do the crazier installs and stuff and slowly but surely like i told you guys it's gonna happen and this thing's gonna be rolling around on the street near you peace out guys don't forget keep saving Keep following your goals. You can do it. The only person who can do it is you, you, you. No one else, you. But peace out, my friends.